morning, the Manningham minstrel recalls the noble Sir Robert the Prizing Lord out from his Norman hall. Six, seven miles out on his ride about through glinting glade and greenwood. He clip clopped into a bright clearing where a woman's homestead stood. Whoa, slow, my strong steed, oh, let's look at what we have here, oh. For there in the sunlit morning, the woodman's daughter he spied, by far the most beautiful maiden he had ever seen in his life. Fair maid, he exclaimed, you know my name, and all on my land obey me. For I am the lord of the Frising Hall, and you shall be its lady. She said, no, go on your strong steed, go. My home's with my father, here. Robert commanded his henchmen to escort her there and then Unmolested back to his mansion where he solemnly offered his hand But in sheer contempt of his blandishments she cried I'm the woodman's daughter If you follow your will myself I'll kill And then I'll haunt you So, whoa, whoa, and many times, whoa, if you keep me prisoner, here, oh. So the moon came up in the evening, said Sir Robert, to God I'll pray, full sure that the sun in the morning would melt her defiance away. But then with the dawn he came upon a sunlit sight most awful. With a woodcutter's knife she had taken her life. Her beauty cold as marble. He said, no, no, how was I to know? She wouldn't be my lady. Dear oh Then framed within the doorway The dead maiden's father appeared Crying curses upon you Norman brutes For the suffering you brought here Within one year you will die I swear With none to call your father the last of your kin and your home in ruin Not a stone upon another And so no one ever will know That the phrasing hall stood here There in the sunlit morning, Sir Robert's hopes they lay dashed. As the woodman collapsed before him, he has spoken and breathed his last. With his beautiful child lying at his side, and woodland flowers are plenty. To the tears of the night they were wrapped in white, and they were laid to rest. Most gently, God repose their souls, and this curse will go, and I won't have to live in fear. Oh, all of a 
sunlit noontide, a twelve month on holiday. Sir Robert in a woodland meadow laid his head on a bottle of hay. Small sting in the ear from a creature there, by evening grew stronger. Ere midnight's chime he had lost his mind. And he left from his hall's veranda. And lo, his abode in a decade or so. In the woods. Had disappeared. And as for the manning and minstrel. Who had witnessed what went on. He was afflicted by the old man's curse and was turned into a black swan, condemned to survive a long, long life, but never to sing nor play. And though he knows full well where it all befell, he can never give the secret. Away.